This week's top stories about Rachel didn't count calories, ate whatever she wanted, and lost 50 pounds, here's how. 1. Rachel did not count the calories, ate what she wanted, and lost 50 pounds, that's how it works. Before I started losing weight, I had a terrible relationship with food, Rachel Alls, 25, rn underscore crossfit on Instagram, told Pop Sugar. At the age of 19, Rachel was nearly 200 pounds, and a comment from a family member induced her to make a change. She said, I wanted to prove to people that they are wrong and no longer be the fat girl. Click through the slideshow above to find out how Rachel changed her diet, found CrossFit, and lost 50 pounds. Rachel's story about food, weight, and diet. Rachel ate large amounts of unhealthy fatty foods in the past. She told Pop Sugar that she would eat out all the time, including Taco Bell, and often at the Olive Garden because she worked there. I only ate for pleasure, she said. I ate because it made me happy, and I ate because the food tastes good. Why Rachel has decided to make a change I remember hearing from a family member that I would end up in the series My 600 Pound Life if I continued on the path I was on, Rachel said. It was so difficult for me, I knew I had to lose weight and I wanted to prove that people are wrong and no longer the fat girl. Rachel had reached 195 pounds and said, this was the last weight I can remember when I stopped weighing myself because I did not want the scale to hit 200. Rachel's journey began, and it was a slow start. So Rachel started her journey in 2013 when she was just 20 years old after she quit her job at Olive Garden. She admits that her original goal was to be just a skinny girl. When she started to lose weight, she thought, if she only ate salads and skinny turkey burgers every day, she would grow thin. Well, I lost weight, but I did not build muscle and I did not feel better, Rachel said. I would also eat binge because I was holding back from all the food I loved. Like many women, Rachel struggled so long without understanding what she needed to do to be healthy. At that time she met an online nutritionist from Working Against Gravity. Rachel Diet Rachel's nutritionist has created her macros and she does not count calories. Instead, it counts fats, carbohydrates, and proteins, and weighs their entire food accuracy. Rachel rarely eats out, but if she does, she knows how to stay on the track. While she does not drink alcohol unless it's a special occasion, Rachel said working with the nutritionist has given her the freedom to eat whatever she wants every day. I eat ice cream every night, Halo Top chocolate chip cookie dough, I can eat what I love and still look like me. Rachel feels she has finally found some kind of food that is a long-term answer to the nutritional issue, not a quick fix. What Rachel Eats in a Day Here's an example of what Rachel eats in a day. Breakfast, egg white, turkey sausage, American cheese, with a side of Kodiak cakes chocolate cake and syrup. Lunch, boiled broccoli, cauliflower mashed potato and a protein like pork or chicken. Dinner, snacks, strawberries, blueberries, cherries, or any kind of fruit, thin pop popcorn, sugar-free pudding for craving chocolate, think thin brownie crunch bars, peanut butter when it needs the fat, or a protein shake if it needs protein. Every day is different, but ice is every night, I cannot live without my ice. Said Rachel. Rachel's Workouts Rachel is doing CrossFit now, but when she started training, she did the Beach Body Program's Insanity and 21 Day Fix at home and trained 6 days a week. As soon as she could afford a gym, she went to Anytime Fitness and hired a personal trainer who was more expensive for a coach than CrossFit. When Rachel went to her first CrossFit class, she quickly learned that CrossFit was suitable for everyone. I wish I had done that first. She said. Rachel's training and progress now. Because of my work schedule, 
I work out four days a week and sometimes I go to the gym in the mornings and evenings, depending on what my body tells me and how much strength I want to invest in the gym, Rachel said. Between 2013 and 2019 Rachel has lost about 50 pounds. I'm actually not that heavy because my nutritionist and I realized that the scale does not define my progress, Rachel said. My pictures and how I feel is my success. Rachel's thoughts on CrossFit I want people to not be afraid of CrossFit, she said. So often do I hear people say, I cannot do CrossFit because X, Y, Z anyone can do CrossFit. No matter how tall you are, how old you are or whether you're injured, anyone can exercise, you just scale to your level of performance. Rachel said the coaches help you and push you to the limit, not someone else's. I really encourage people to try CrossFit for at least a week and understand CrossFit before you say it's not for you, Rachel said. Rachel's Nanoscale Victories Rachel's biggest win has nothing to do with food. Finally, I feel like I can eat and I'm not afraid of eating, she said. She loves being able to eat normally and not feeling bad because there is no good or bad food. It's just food. Being able to understand my diet was even better than losing weight, without feeling guilty about eating out, Rachel said. Having someone to cheer me on and not shame me was the biggest help on my journey. Rachel added that another serious victory is that she is in amazing health. As a nurse, in good health, with excellent labs and an incredible feeling, this is such a big win, said Rachel. How Rachel Remains Motivated What is Rachel's biggest motivation? Herself. When I started, I was motivated by others, she said, but she learned that this does not prevent them from working toward their goals or making them happy. I had to find my motivation in myself, I keep on doing to love my body, knowing that I'm going to be healthy in my future, Rachel said. Rachel is also motivated to eat properly and do sports because she really has a passion for it, she loves the gym and the food she eats. She said losing weight or getting in shape should never be because somebody told you, that will not motivate you in the long run. You need to change, and you want it for you, Rachel said. When I found that out, it was easier to stay on track, and proper training and eating is now a lifestyle I could never do without. Rachel's advice. If you're thinking about quitting or it's just too hard, Rachel said, keep going, do not stop, it's hard, really hard, but do not give up. You get a life and a body, and you want me for it to take care of. It's okay to ask people for help, and it's fine if your progress comes to a halt. Just stay strong and stick to your plan. Rachel said, I've had so many highs and lows on this trip, and each time I remember why I'm here and I need to stay up to date https slash slash www.popsugar.com slash fitness slash photo gallery slash 4509806 slash image slash 4517528 slash know your why, even if I do not want to. Rachel's last thoughts. My history of weight loss started with the idea that I just wanted to be a skinny girl, she said. But when she had lost a good deal, got crossfit, and got a nutritionist, she realized that it was no longer just about being thin. I want to be happy, healthy, and fit, she said. I want to go up and down stairs and not be tired or sweaty, I want to lift heavy things and feel like the strong girl, my goal is to prevent disease and lead a healthy life around. It looks like Rachel has reached this goal, how inspiring. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to channels.